A unique nuclear reactor is coming to Oak Ridge with the hope of creating low-cost, safe, clean power. It's called Hermes, and the company behind it plans to put the demonstration reactor in the historic K-25 site, now known as the East Tennessee Technology Park. WAT6 On Your Side reporter Kirsty Crawford tells us how builders want to boost the community while looking for the future of nuclear energy. Kairos Power is setting up shop here in the East Tennessee Technology Park. And what they're creating is what they hope will be uh, the future of carbon-free and affordable energy. The East Tennessee Technology Park has a big history going back to the 1940s and the Manhattan Project. Some of that history is about to make a full circle. There was something called the Aircraft um, Reactor Project, and they were seeing if they could build a nuclear reactor small enough to power an aircraft. And in fact, molten salt reactors were experimented with. That was back in the late 50s. State Representative John Reagan says the technology simply wasn't available at the time to use as a nuclear power source. Now, Cairo's power has the technology. CEO Mike Laffer says part of it is also coming from the Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Uh, the way to think about it, this is, this is the most robust nuclear fuel that's ever been developed. And when we combine it with the, with the salt coolant, we have an extremely robust intrinsic safety um, characteristics for the reactor. The argument for this molten salt technology is that it creates a safer environment compared to the nuclear power sources we have now. Reagan explains. In fact, it, such a power plant will not have a meltdown if it has an accident. It would have a freeze up, which while it would destroy the reactor, wouldn't be a big, particularly problem, particularly big problem for it. Those around it. Hermes is just a prototype, taking Cairo's power technology and making it real in hopes to prove it can be used on a larger scale. The Hermes reactor will, will not actually generate electricity. It'll just be to demonstrate our ability to, to, uh, to generate affordable nuclear heat. And then there are a variety of applications for that heat. The CEO says they hope in 10 or so years this prototype can be used on the commercial scale and be used as a competitor in price, safety, and carbon-free energy against the fossil fuels we use today. Reporting in Oak Ridge, Kirsty Crawford, WATE6 on your side. Now, by the way, Kairos Power is hoping to finish building this low-power nuclear demonstrator reactor by 2026. It is expected to create hundreds of jobs, including construction roles, to build the plant. Well, we should note there are some opponents to this reactor, like the Southern Alliance for Clean Energy. Yeah, the president says this reactor technology is an unproven source of clean energy and that it's a, finan a high financial risk to TVA taxpayers. By the way, TVA is a partner in this undertaking. 